Hello everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Alright, it's time to go check out the No Man's Wharf. By the way, I am unfortunately running in offline mode right now, which means things like bloodstains and messages won't be working. Uh, and the reason for that is because the, I, I don't know, the Dark Souls servers are down or so, something's down that makes it so it's unable to connect. And it's not just me, I went to the Steam forums and I found a thread of people saying that it's down for them too. And there were 600, uh, almost 700 comments of people saying, yeah, it's down for me too. So, it's not just me. Unfortunate, I really like the messages and the bloodstains and stuff like that. That's a really cool element, but, uh... I'm not gonna stop playing just because the servers are down. Oh god, the fuck? Damn! Some serious range on that guy. I didn't think he'd see me from here. Alright. Oh, hi. <laughs> Not very good aim, though. Thank god those bolts are so slow. Okay. Okay, those arrows are gonna drive me nuts, so rather than exploring, I should probably take them out. Did I just take an arrow in the knee? I think I just took an arrow in the knee. Anyway, let's take him out before I explore. Because he's fucking obnoxious. <laughs> Ooh, I want to try my shield break on this guy. No, come, come here. Come here. Wow. I did really good there. Holy shit! Yeah, I gotta get the range on this thing right. What? Are you, are you gonna go in the water? Well, that's a rough start. But, uh... I should be okay. Gotta get used to new enemies' move sets. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, uh yeah. Looks like the wood here is a little bit rotted. Prone to breaking. Shit, somebody's throwing things at me. Alright, I really want to try that shield break thing. But, when they open up like that, I guess there's no reason to use it. I don't know, I just haven't found much of an opportunity to use the shield break thing. Nice. T try again, buddy. You might get me. Oh, oh. Almost. Come on, one more time. You got this. I believe in you. Oh. One of these days, he'll get me. <laughs> what is he even throwing? Is that oil? Is that like hot oil or something? Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I, I don't really see an opportunity to use the shield break thing so far. I need to find an enemy that's extremely defensive. One that just keeps their shield up all the time, but so far most of the enemies don't. They launch into a flurry of attacks that I can dodge, and then at the end of their attacks, they take a second to, you know, regain their strength or whatever, and that's your opening to attack. There's no reason to use a shield break at that point. I'm sure I'll find the right enemy at some point. Whoa, look at those footsteps. They're all like normal mapped and whatnot and everything. 
they kind of look freaking huge, actually, but they're pretty cool looking. Kind of look like they're left by an elephant. What if I can break this? Oh yeah. Wasted my durability. Like a pro. <laughs> I love breaking all this stuff for no reason. It's just satisfying. Something very, very satisfying about it. Titanite night shard. He actually managed to get hit off. Hit off on me. Little bastard. Actually, he's not little at all. He's actually quite large. Okay. I've got my cat ring on. I should be fine. Yeah. came from there, so nowhere to go but here. Cool. Yeah, I knew there'd be people in here. Come on. Okay, double sword guy, so he's super fast. Gotta avoid the flurry, but otherwise he's un, um, undefended because he has no shield. Alright, come on, buddy. Come on, come on. I want to test out my shield break thing. Oh, that was not the shield break. Let's try this. Oh, that's so cool. Fucking awesome. Resin. What is that? <laughs> I've got so many things. <sighs> I don't even I don't even use my eyes to find what I'm looking for. I just look at the names because I I don't know what the hell all these things look like. Dark pine resin. Apply poison. Alright, so they're all sorts of poisons. Yeah. Oh, here's the fragrant branch of your restores restores. Restores living things from petrification. Restores living things from petrification. A fragrant tree branch with a faint sweet smell restores the life of things turned to stone. Extended inhalation of the branch's scent can lead to coughing and nausea. I know exactly what the fuck to do with this. Fuck this place. I've got somewhere to be. No offense to this place. It's quite cool, but... Holy shit. I know exactly what to do with that. To the Batmobile. question is, how do I use it? I've only got one, and I don't want to pull a smooth and silky stone again. I gotta get this right. Yeah, I remember I looked for that smooth branch of yore, or whatever the hell it's called. I looked for that before, and I couldn't freaking find it. Obviously, it was there the whole time. It wasn't hiding from me. Hello, Final Fantasy man. I have a question. Final Fantasy. The name. If that's actually the Final Fantasy, how come there's like 50 Final Fantasies? That doesn't sound like a final. It's weird. Come on. I'm 
I'm still having trouble getting the range on this weapon correct. I keep hitting people too closely. Come on. See, that's too close. There we go. Okay. Use Fragrant Branch of Yore. Yes! 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 <gasps> this is so cool. Oh my god, I wonder what's behind here. Alright. God, I fucking love this game. It's so awesome. Yes. Yes. Is she alive? She is alive. So, uh, how does it feel? To be back? How... How long were you a stone? Could have been thousands of years, I guess. There's something very strange about how she looks. Is it just me or does she have a really, really small head? I feel like she has a miniature head. I don't know, maybe her clothes are just really poofy. No problem. I imagine it would be pretty painful. Might want to do some stretches. Get your um, your muscles flexible again. I'm fine. I think. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm fine. Really, I am. Um. My name is Rosabeth. Thank you so much for rescuing me. Oh. Oh, you're that traveler. I still haven't thanked you. Well, I'm quite a hand at pyromancy. So perhaps you could consider this my thanks. Prism stone. Well, if it's for pyromancy, then I suppose it's irrelevant because I don't do magic. But uh, let's see what it see what it does. Prism stone. So I suppose it looks like a stone. See if I can find it with my eyes. Is it the blue thing? Yes. Emits light, marks one's path. Oh, yeah, that's just a visual thing, right? It's not... It doesn't really do anything. Yeah, nothing special. But if you feel you may lose your way, you can serve as a path marker. I was attacked and turned to stone, I think. I owe you my life. If you have not come... Oh, I feel shameful wearing these rags. Um, I hate to burden you further, as you've already saved my life. But, just look at me. My clothes are in tatters. Do you have any clothing that you could spare? I'll take anything, whatever you don't need. I'm not particular when it comes to apparel. Anything at all will do. Just put it on the ground. And I'll change into it later. Um, alright. Reinforced pyromancy flame. So what have you got? Let me get a bunch of spells. Increases fire defense, increases lightning defense, increases dark defense. Well, so far I have yet to be attacked by dark, so... Not too worried about that one. Magic defense, lightning defense, fire defense, okay. And a bunch of spells. I have my very own teacher. His name is Corillian of the Fold, a famed sorcerer in Melfia, our hometown. I was fascinated by sorcery. And so, well, he's so unique, you see. When he set out for Drang Lake, 
I couldn't let him go alone. But we were separated. Quite early on, I'm afraid. Yeah, exactly how long were you as petrified? Because I'm, I'm wondering if he's still alive. I'm rather unskilled, and the Lord probably ditched me. But, oddly, I'm a fast learner when it comes to pilonancy. What we're fascinated by, and we're skilled at, are not always the same thing. Oh, why can't I just focus on what I truly enjoy? Oh dear, I shouldn't be so choosy. It's hardly my place. I have my very own His name, I was f When he said, but... Okay. What do I not need? Welp, I don't need a prisoner's hood. <laughs> I kind of feel bad giving that to her, though. It's really bad. Okay, well, I'll just give her one of these. I got a bunch of them. I'm sure I'm not going to use them. They're pretty good. Okay, there's a helmet. Old knight armor. God, those things are super heavy. I don't think she'd be able to wear those comfortably. Uh, let's just give her the hollow infantry stuff. I've got a bunch of it. It's a nice set. Should be a consistent set. Yeah, there we go. It cannot be retrieved. Yep, that's fine. Okay. I wonder if that's actually going to do something. Like, I wonder if she's actually going to change into it, and if she does, does that change anything? Thank you so much. I'm very happy for this gift. After I change into this, I'm heading for Matula. Oh, cool, okay. Hmm. I'm not sure where I might find the Lord. But perhaps Matula is my best chance. Alright, so just like that shopkeeper, next time I go to Medulla, she'll be there. Alright, so, now I can see what's behind here. Probably horrible, horrible things. I certainly hear enemies. Well, what the- oh god. That did not do what I thought it would do. What the fuck is that? That thing's adorable looking! It also spews some um, horrible poisons, but... Look at how big its eyes are! It's so cute! <laughs> look at that little mouth, it looks like it's smiling. Look at that. It's so cute, I almost don't want to kill it. Although, it kind of looks like it has super razor-sharp teeth. Oh my god, that thing. I love the monster design. <laughs> oh, thank god for the AoE on this weapon. Whew. I wonder if this is an entirely new zone. Like, this could be an entirely new zone. I don't know if it's just a small little excursion. A little special place, or if it's actually an entirely new spot. It could be big. I always run away from every chest, by default, just in case it's poison. <gasps> Estus Flask Shard, yes! Beautiful, beautiful, it's been so long! It's been so long since I found another shard. A bonfire! This is a new place! Yeah, this has got to be a, a new place. I wonder what it's called. can jump over there, right? Yeah, probably. There we go. Yeah, Halbert is not the best weapon for here. In fact, I'm going to switch.
Whoops, I destroyed the door. There'd be something up here. Human effigy and soul of a proud knight. I'll take it. Cool. Okay, let's um Let's go you yeah, let's go reinforce my Estus flask. Oh also I guess I'll go talk to uh the person who I just turned from stone to flesh and I forgot her name. Let's go talk to her too. She should be around here somewhere. Is that a show here mm -hmm. to see light, however? Beautiful five, yes. Okay, where might she be? Let's see if she's staring off into the sun. This game is beautiful. Tranquil. Peaceful. she might be in with the kitty cat nope inside of here perhaps she moved into the mansion that seems unlikely it's not her home after all <laughs> not that anybody cares You might have to move to a completely, like, really far away place to actually get her to move. Let's go see if she's actually back there still. Uh... Where is it? Is it... This? Shaded Woods. Okay, so pulling that opens up all of the cell doors. Gotcha. That's what happened. Well, let's try that again.
No, she is gone. Alright, she's back there somewhere. I'll see her some other time. There's no urgency to it. Wait, why is this not open? That was open before. That was open before, was it not? Am I missing something? Yeah, that, that was totally open. Maybe I closed it by pressing that thing? Okay, so they stayed open. The door stayed where it was. Right. And now they stayed closed? Why? I don't understand. Why is this closed? Well, that's going well. I fucking hate this place. <laughs> I just need to stop using the halberd, I think. I'm fighting all these situations with the halberd doesn't work well. I mean, no, it's, it's fine here if I don't go into these little cells. And now it's open. What? Why is it open now? Whatever, I'm just going. Seize the opportunity. I don't get it. Either there's some sort of mysterious force at play there that I don't understand, or it was just bugged. Hmm. I'm expecting some sort of tree creatures to come at me. Another one of those poison things. Ah, gotta get the range on this thing right. Yeah, almost all my hits, honestly, are too close to the point where it's not doing its full damage. When the enemies are trying to come up to you to do melee attacks, it's really hard to get the range right because they end up getting really close. Makes me wonder if I should stop using the halberd. It's inefficient. Hmm. Anyway, what did I just pick up? Fading Soul? 
I'm guessing that's a very, very small amount of souls. There we go. I can't believe how much damage those rocks did, considering that I'm wearing armor. Another Ferris's Lockstone. I know exactly where not to use that. At that shitty rat place, full of shitty rats. Fucking rats. I'm really curious what would happen if you joined the Rat Covenant, though. It just sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? Like, I'm in the Rat Covenant. Hell yeah. There we go, that's the right range. Just a few feet out. Look at this, just a fallen temple. It's like a fallen... Uh, I don't know if it's a temple, but... A ruined building in the woods. Statue with its head that's just fallen off. Nature overtaking it with vines and branches and whatnot. I love these sorts of scenes. Still, I'm hitting too close. Alright, let's go back and level up. And hopefully find her. Wherever she went. Okay, it's getting awfully expensive to level up. Do I want to keep doing strength? I kind of do. I don't know. I haven't found anything that actually needs the strength aside from the great shields, which I really don't intend to use. Hmm. What do I need the most? I really don't know. really hard to choose. Again, health is always good, but it doesn't allow me to do anything new. I do keep running out of stamina. Being able to roll further with uh, heavy armor and stuff would be nice. Vitality. a little bit extra hit points. I haven't been upgrading that much. Or maybe adaptability. Dodge quicker? Hmm. 
I really do wish it was more descriptive as to what this actually did. I know it increases my resistance a little bit and my poise, as I can see down there, but it does other stuff, too. I think. I think it just makes you faster to do stuff. But I have no way to quantify that, so it's really hard to tell how effective this is going to be. I'll go with adaptability. Okay. Again, where might she be? Oh, hello. Is that, that... That's her. Yeah, she wasn't there before. Okay. Hi. Looking like a hollow soldier. Oh, there you are. I'm here in Medulla, thanks entirely to you. You even were kind enough to clothe me. Thank you so very much. The only thing I can offer is pyromancy. But if that might help you... Come to me. It was a perilous trek across the mountains. I faced the most frightful things. <laughs> the number of times I nearly died. <laughs> it was a perilous... <laughs> Wait, I can just keep giving her equipment? Okay, well, she probably doesn't have anything new. No. Be safe. Okay, so do I want to, do I want to keep going in the shaded woods or go back to the fisherman, the no man's wharf? Let's go back to the shaded woods. And I just went to the wrong spot. Whoops. Disgusting noises. Whoa. What is that? I'm kind of scared to venture out there. Hmm. I see something behind a tree. <laughs> it looks like, yep, I see something moving behind a tree. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll go a different way. It's almost worth taking the damage just to do that amazing AoE. Because you're pretty much guaranteed to get hit, because they're not all going to be attacking at the exact same time. So somebody's going to get a hit off on you. That was way too far away. Ring of life protection. Hmm. I have ring of slow protection. Oh, so this one, yeah, Ring of Soul Protection is better. Nullifies death and petrification. This one just nullifies death, but breaks on death. Okay. Right. Still not exactly sure when I'd find a good time to use that, but... We'll see. I guess, you know, what would have been a good time... I didn't have the... I didn't actually have the ring at the time, but what would have been a good time is when I was fighting the... 
dragon whatever thing, that horrible boss fight that gave me 20,000 souls. Horribly difficult boss fight, I mean. Because I remember I kept fighting him for a long time, and I would get all the souls from the giants into the boss room. And I ended up with like 13,000 souls there, but then I died before getting to the boss room, so I couldn't retrieve them, so that would have been a good time. If I wore the ring, went into the boss room, collected my souls, and that way I could take them back. Then level up with them. That would have been nice. Hmm. I'm gonna ponder this enemy for a second. Hmm, delicious water. Okay, it's got two swords, it's obviously gonna attack very fast, and it's also very large. Wonderful. Let's go. Oh shit. It's got enemies on both sides of it. Huh. That is a very interesting enemy. Okay, I need to kill this little shit. Okay. So, my dodge worked kind of well, but... Jesus! Fucking Christ! <laughs> Where's the opportunity to even hit it? <gasps> if I get behind it, I'm just gonna get wrecked, so I kinda need to be on its side, I think. I'm feeling like a shield might be a good thing. Fucking hell. Jesus! I keep thinking I'm behind it, but I'm not. There is no behind it. Wow. I mean, it was stunned for a second there, so that's that's like my opportunity. Yeah. And something tells me that's not even a special enemy. Something tells me I'm going to have to fight that again and again and again. Hmm. <sighs> Might be a shield enemy. Might be a shield enemy. Trying the thing. There! And I still got hit. What the fuck am I hearing outside? This is the real life, right? That's not coming from the game? No, I don't know. It's like screaming dogs mixed with the sound of demonic children laughing or something. I don't know what the hell it is. Stupid neighbors. Give me this back. Okay, at least I know it won't follow me too far.
Okay. Yeah, I think the bastard sword's probably the best sword I have. Could go for a little stabby here. My shoulder. Good for quick stabs. Could be just a thing. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so let's go with the bastard sword plus... My little, uh, fungal... Fungal, uh, shield here. I should try to parry the attacks, right? That'll go wonderfully. Okay. Confirmed, shield is a wonderful idea. I really don't know how to fight it. My usual tactic is to, if it's a relatively small enemy, I can just dodge backwards, right? Get a couple hits in, dodge backwards, avoid its hit. However, it's fucking huge. If I dodge backwards, I'm still in range of its attacks, so that's useless. Okay. Alternatively, I can dodge kind of around its back when it goes to attack. However, its back contains another enemy with more weapons. So, <laughs> where the fuck does that leave me? I don't know. Let's try my sword against these guys. Fucking tried to parry. See what happens when I try to parry? That's what happens when I try to parry. That's honestly the only thing I can think of to attempt to get uh, kill that huge double dude is parrying. But um, I'm not too good at it. Honestly, I seem to do better with this than the halberd. I'm almost thinking I should stop using the halberd. I really don't want to, though. I kind of love it. It's been with me so long. It served me so well for the giants. Alright. I'm going to test out... Test out my parry. Not on this dude, but on... Ow. He, he hit me in the foot with a rock. You dick. On this guy. Ow. Okay, is that too early? Too late? What? Even with the special move, the actual damage I did to him, like the execution animation, didn't even do that much. Alright, let's try to parry.
try to parry. Let's try to parry. Is it, is it literally even possible to parry an enemy that big? I'm wondering if there's a certain point where the size is just too big to be able to parry. Because obviously if you try to parry the giants, that wouldn't work, right? I mean, they just smash through anything. They just smash you into the ground. I wonder if that's the same case here. I'm going the wrong way. to a good start. Okay, back to the meat grinder. Come on, grind me up. Hmm, okay. So I noticed I confused him when I tried to stay right in the middle, because they kept trying to switch between the two sides. Potentially valuable. I think I'm going to try a little stabby. Yeah, I'm going to try a little stabby. Get some super quick hits in. Because I think I need to be very quick with that big guy. Really quick. Barely did any damage, yeah! I don't think this is actually going to be very effective. I 
I really don't think it will be very effective. In fact, I think I'm just going to switch right now back to the other weapon. Where's my bastard sword? All these swords look the same. Wait, where is it? Long sword. Straight broad sword. Bastard sword, there they are. I tried to parry there, by the way. That's what happened. Come on, D-pad. You can do it. You can do a D-pad. Get the fuck back here, you little... <sighs> oh, no! Oh! If that's not a special enemy, I'm gonna cry. funny, whenever I have my shield, I never use it. I really don't like using my shield. Nice. Nice. 